Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we are having another look at the sneak peek of the quite curvy and the curvy dies which are coming out the beginning of November and they are just so lovely. There is so much that you can do with it. So really suggest 3rd of November that you click down on the link below and you can get hold of these products because they are just lovely. We've got a stamp set, we've got a coordinating die and we've got some lovely papers and the papers are called Classic Christmas. They're six by sixes so really easy to use and you've got um, Sahara Sand, Cherry Cobbler and Shaded Spruce. And they are, I'm just going to flick through them for you so you can see. That's one side, sort of checks and spots, sort of snowflakey type things, all in the different colours, little trees. And then going through on the other side, you've got um, sort of, yeah, chevrony things, lovely little details of sprigs. You've got um, stripes and you've got stars so lots to choose from and being double-sided you can sort of mix and match and everything so stamp set you've got these lovely leaves beautiful curves 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 with your sentiments little birds that you can make Christmassy as robins or birds for any time of the year color them in as you want lovely flower that we had a look at the other day little tiny weeny little sprig which i haven't used yet um and then there's a little hello at the bottom as well so really lovely versatile stamp set the dies the dies i keep saying it to die for curvy dies you've got these dies which will cut out in your curve good long size so the actual size of these are they're six, six and, yeah, six and an eighth. So, you know, you can get them right the way across a good size card. You have a cutting edge on one side. Now, that's what you need to be aware of. The cutting edge is on one side. Your dots will come on whatever the other side is of that cutting piece. You've then got the lovely flowery one, which we're using again today. You've got the leaves, which cut out beautiful little leaves and emboss at the same time. You can then piece cut, um, put them back in if you want to. And you've got all the dies to cut out all of the shapes and the birds and all of those things. So it is a beautifully versatile set. We're using this one again today because I absolutely love it. And we're going to do something a little bit different, but just showing you that you can use this for all sorts of things so we're in a little bit of a christmas vein at the moment so i'm just going to put those out of the way over there um so yes we're in a little bit of a christmas vein so we're going to do a card that is christmassy and i'm going to bring out my die cutting machine so i'm just putting these out of the way because i haven't got a huge amount of room the first thing i'm doing out of the designer series paper on the starry side, I have taken the largest stitch shape framelits, which is this one, and I've just die cut out the circle. That helps us to start off with. So let me get my die cutting machine out and let's hopefully get it in position so that you can see it. Yeah, I think that's about right. OK, so we are going to place... OK, so we're going to place the shape down. Now, when you're doing a die, if you put it this way, it'll go click, click, put it so that it rolls down through. You put less strain on the actual die. So I've got a couple of little pieces that I haven't finished cutting out of this. So let me just poke these out. Um, take your pick tool, invaluable. OK, so we've got the cutting edge here. And we want the floral piece to come above. So we're going to put it through and we're going to take it so that it comes 
if you line it so that it's just up to that edge and then look to see where your space is so that you don't have it half a one on and we're going to put it up to just about there so just sort of a third and then we'll just put our plate in on top and run it through I always run it back only because it's easier for me to actually come back to where I started. Okay, so that's our first piece. And we should be able to just take the die off without moving it too much. I'm just going to slide it out so I can then take the die off. I'm going to leave the pieces there and put it back together again. So. You probably couldn't see that on there. So all I've done is taken the die off and put it back together again so you've got the circle. Then I'm going to turn it the other way round. I want my cutting edge at the top because I want the floral piece to be at the bottom. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to lie it across down at the bottom a bit. Take it in on the edge just so that it comes in where I want it to. And again on this piece so it's not too far down to about there and then again just put my plate in on top and run that through get my hand out of the way a bit so you don't have all of my hand showing instead of the die cutting bit so I'm just going to bring that back in okay so we now have got a bit of static on there so it's coming out of there but we now have take this piece out I'm going to take this plate move this out of the way because we don't need that now okay and then I can just sit back down again so what we have done is we have created a bauble and they do come out really easily so you don't have to fuss too much about clearing all the bits. Um, they just run through smoothly. You just need to clear your plate afterwards. So I can put that out of the way. So we now have a really rather pretty little bauble. And if we put it on our card with a bit of a space like this, you then got a nice little Christmas bauble. So let's make a card with this. I've already prepared one that I did earlier and let me just get all the pieces out. So what I've done is I've taken some of the lovely, which I absolutely adore for a background. It's the um, mesh silver ribbon. Um, I'll put the link of it down below. I can't remember the exact name. I've, I've used it before. I've taken the sentiment from this set, which is made with love just for you. And I've just put that down at the bottom. So we can then take our, and I have taken a sentiment, Merry Christmas. And this was from the Festive Post, which has lovely tiny little sentiments that will fit perfectly inside the classic label punch. So you've got Merry Christmas to you and yours. Um, enjoy this season and I did those on the tags that we were doing the other day so I've just taken that out to just finish it off okay so we have our three pieces here let me just make sure I've got them the way up I want them that one that one and that one I'm gonna have it that way around yes it doesn't really matter which way I have it or I could have it the other way so you can put them either way up, whichever way you think looks the best with what you've taken. Yep, no, it needs to go the other way up for me. So this piece, this piece and this piece. OK, so as you cut it, just make sure as well that you've got it. You've put it back together so your curves are running in the same position. So we can put them up with dimensionals. I'm going to put this up with wet glue um, because 
as I'm always turning around and saying to you, oh, this is quite interesting. It's quite white and um, on the back on here, it's quite funny to glue. Um, as I always say, depending on your postage will depend how heavy you are with your dimensionals. Um, and if you're sending a lot of Christmas cards like I do, then you might not necessarily want quite a lot. OK, so we're just going to put this one straight down in the centre like this. And because the mesh is very fine, you can stick it straight on top quite easily and it just sticks down quite nicely. Then we're going to take the second piece, give that a glue. But yes, there are so many things that you can do with these curvy dies. Um, and I might even try using it with the um, foam adhesive sheets. I know it's quite detailed, but I think it should be all right. Wet glue is really good for this because it allows you to slide it. And you just want a little bit of a space in there. Because if you've got that little bit of a space, then it, it, it allows it to be a three-dimensional um, bauble. So let's take this round. But you can see how this set is going to be in the new... It's available for everybody from the 3rd of November, but it's also going to be in the new mini catalogue that runs through till June. So, you know, there's there's so much that we can do with it, but you can make most of your Christmas cards really easily. Let me just put that in there. OK, so I'm now going to press that down a little bit at the top so it's smoother. And you then have a lovely sort of bauble card. Now, what you can do is you can put a little tiny bit of string or a little bit of something up on the top. And then just to finish it off, I'm just going to put the Merry Christmas in on the centre. And again, I'm doing it all just with wet glue because I know then it will go into an envelope quite easily. So we'll put the Merry Christmas in on the centre, which is straight, which allows the curvy part to look even more curvy and there you are you have a really rather beautiful just need to hold that down just for a second for the glue to go off on those pieces which it will but you have an absolutely beautiful little baubly card using these new quite curvy and the curvy dies and some of the lovely um, classic Christmas paper and you can create your own baubles. And I think that they're really rather pretty. Um, you could do, there are some other ideas that I'm going to do with this bauble. But if you took um, a piece of the brushed metallic underneath and then layered that on top, you could have another look. So lots of ideas and things. This was just a first one to, to have a go. And I just thought that it looked quite fun. So again, thank you so much for watching me. As always, stay safe and stay well and be kind. Bye bye.